Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In the last video, if you would have watched the P0-102, P0-104, we went down the troubleshooting tree until we got where we got to diagnose the electrical harness itself. So in this video, I got the PCM connectors disconnected and we're gonna start troubleshooting the resistance in the wiring. So you're gonna need a good multimeter for this test. So if you have a good one, zero it out, and now you're ready. So with all the plugs disconnected is what we're looking for is a short to ground. So I got no resistance there off pin number one. Pin number two is good. No short to ground. Pin three and four. We're measuring everything off pin three. So then pin three and five, nothing. And then pin three and six is nothing. So I don't have a short to ground. Now, of course, if you got a resistance value off any of those, you'd have to trace that wire back all the way to the PCM and then repair the ground. So if you went through that test and everything was fine, but you still got the code, you got to continue. This test, I'm in pin number four. Come over to the PCM harness. The only one I can get a reading off of, so if it's wrong, I apologize, but for demonstration purposes, pin number 25 responds to the math, so meter zeroed out. Is resistance less than five ohms? Yes, it is. If the resistance was greater than five ohms, you'd have to trace that wire back, find out where it's damaged, and repair it. So for the next test, it's gonna bypass it. You'd take pins, four and five checked resistance. If the resistance was less than 10 K ohms, you got a short on the math return line. You would want to fix that, verify it. But if it is less than 10 K ohms, you go to the next. So once you measure this greater or less than 10 K ohms to determine if you have a short or not, and then go ahead and trace that. And at this point in time, there's still some more tests, but it gets redundant. I think if you got to this point and you verified that there is no issues in the, our shorts and the wiring harness itself, it's probably safe to assume that your math sensor has failed and replace it. There's another test I'm not going to do. And that involves taking a five amp jumper wire and jumping it between numbers and measuring the math PID, but that only confirms that indeed the math sensor has failed. But if you verified that there's no short to ground between your pins and the PCM, vice versa, going through the test, then I think you're probably pretty good just to replace the math sensor. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll see you guys in the next video.